Jim Harbaugh, leader of men, Michigan guy. <laughs> Where's he going? What's he going to do? I think he's going back to the league. I think it's, you know, a combination of, you know, he's obviously accomplished what he set out to accomplish at his alma mater. He's got 44 seniors leaving. Um, you could say he can leave the program in good, in good shape with, you know, a, a really, really good head coaching candidate on his staff and Sharon Moore, um, who I, I think would probably get that job. And he has unfinished business in the league. Um, you know, and so, and, and, you know, if you're him, like part of the risk we're going back to would be like the potential for NCAA sanctions. So, um, you know, I think he's all along had unfinished business in the league. I think over the last couple of years, interest in him has been very, very tepid, way more tepid than people think it's been. Um, there hasn't been a ton of opportunity for him out there. And I think there probably will be more this year. And I think that like maybe the greatest thing that he can bring to the table is what he's built at Michigan looks just like what he built at San Francisco looks just like what he built at Stanford looks just like what he built in Sandy at San Diego. Mm -hmm. In other words, you know exactly what you're getting. And in that way, I think he's the modern day Bill Parcells. Ooh, like, wow. I, think he, I think he comes in and shakes a program up and changes things right away. And eventually he could wear people out. And so if you're making this hire, it's we're not hiring him for 10 years. You have to be comfortable with we're hiring probably him for probably four or five years. But I think it's worth it. And so, you know, I think, you know, like the, the Chargers certainly are the one that like sort of fits the profile the most. The Chargers are also awfully sensitive about two things, the idea that they're cheap and the idea that they're irrelevant in L.A. And I think that hiring Jim Harbaugh addresses both of those emphatically because you're going to have to pay to get him. And I think he would make the Ch Chargers matter a lot more in Los Angeles. And you guys can speak to this better than I can because you're out there. But I think he would make the Chargers matter a lot more in Los Angeles than they do right now. So I think the Raiders will be in the mix. I think the Falcons will be in the mix. Um, you know, I know he'd touch base with the Panthers last year, so I guess he couldn't rule that out. I'm not sure they go that way. Um, but my guess would be the Chargers will be where he lands. I have a strongly held view on this view that he wears people out because my view is if you are wearing people out because you are working like a fiend and pushing everybody else to work like a fiend and pushing everybody else to be their best then you know what wearing people out can be a good thing and by the way in related news al told me i often wore him out <laughs> <laughs> which I think is amazing. The fact that you could wear out somebody like Al, which is kind of insane. All right. So does that were mean you were there, well, you were there with Al and Jim, right? When they were together? Yes. yes. Jim was there for, you know, 2002, 2003. And then he, and I loved working with him. He was a phenomenal teammate. He was terrific in every regard within our organization, not just in a coaching role, but in a communicative collaborative role. I loved everything about him. And most people thought, when he went to Al to explain that he wanted to go back to college or to go to college, to go to San Diego, that Al would be livid. And to the contrary, Al had so much respect for Jim and, and fondness for him that he was in, he encouraged him to do it and sent him with his blessing. Yeah. He, um, and I've heard like, you know, I've heard things about those days. Like you guys had a young scout, Ed Dodds, who's up for the Raider job now. Um, and Ed is as good an evaluator as there is. And, that was that'd be one like I would pay attention to. Ed really oh, interviewed interesting well. Interesting pairing. Yeah, Ed interviewed really well with the Raiders three years ago, and or two years ago, and he didn't get the job because you know Mark wanted to tie the head coach to the general manager and pick the Josh McDaniels Dave Ziegler pairing, but they really liked Ed Dodds, and Ed at the time was tied to Jim Harbaugh, and. The two of them worked together all those years ago, Amy, in 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 Oakland. And I've been told that because of that, they've got a really good rapport. And so, you know, if the Raiders were to hire Ed Dodds as their general manager, that could be a way to maybe try to lure Jim Harbaugh um, away from Michigan, away from the Chargers, away from everybody else. Check out new episodes of What the Football with Susie Schuster and Amy Trask every Tuesday. Watch us on the Rich Eisen Show YouTube page or follow and listen wherever you get your podcasts.